Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, the workout today is gonna be a four quadrant workout. You've got lower body, upper body, cardio, and abs. We're gonna spend about 10 minutes in each quadrant and we'll do no repeat exercises. But you'll get a little progressive overload because we're staying in that general muscle group. All right, grab a variety of dumbbells. You'll need that in the workout today. I'm gonna do lots of the exercises down on the ground as well, but if you wanna use a bench, feel free. If you're looking to lose weight in a sustainable way for the long haul, be sure to check out our Belly Fat Files. It's a new one month self-guided program that's out now. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna hit high intensity intervals on the watch. Let's start with some hip openers right here. I, uh, yeah, we'll be moving from one to one to one, no repeat, we'll get some cardio in there. <laughs> we'll just call it high intensity. There's not really like a cardio and strength, you know, thing on the watch here. It's either strength or hit. So what do you do? It's not really that important anyway. Take it wide, little side to side lunge here. Good. I am very motivated by closing the rings though. I don't know if you have an Apple Watch or Fitbit or uh, some other sort of tracker, but it is it is motivating to go, okay, need to get my 10,000 steps in. Didn't close that ring. <laughs> Stay wide, touch your toes. I don't know, it just keeps me mindful, keeps me conscious of moving, moving my body daily. So I think it's good that way. Two more here. Now let's take your whole body, turn it, do a little pelvic tilt. We're gonna drop into this lunge, just stretching that hip flexor here. Hands come up. Good, take a deep breath in and we're gonna hinge back and lengthen through the hamstring there a bit. And switching sides, drop it low. Stretching that hip flexor. Reach up and hinge back, heel up, lean forward. Very good, take it wide. Squat and open here. Go into a regular squat up to tiptoes this time. Last one here, and some arm circles. Tap it out. directions. Good, and a little rotation right here. Reach across, tap it here. Last 10 here. All right, there you go. We're starting with legs, 10 minutes of legs. Here are your first few exercises. I'm going into that tiptoe squat. I'll call halfway on the tiptoe, grabbing my 15s. Wasting them up. All right, plant the toe. Drop it low. I'm 
One more on this side. Switch your toe. those same 15s for my kickstand deadlift. Toe is up, we're gonna hinge forward at the waist. I'll go halfway on the foot and we'll switch. Lead with the chest. Last one on this side. Take a step forward and switch. Good, setting those down. I'm gonna go into a squat alternating front lunge and get you a hold in 115. Squat first, alternating front, feet shoulder width, drop it low. Here, pick it up and lunge. Now switch, other side here. a side lunge. I'm going to hold my 15 here. So we'll side lunge here up into a twist high knee. I'll come halfway on the leg. Hips go back, reach and twist. Same side. sides. over the toes, toes are out. So pulse at the bottom and drive and squeeze. Thank you. 
elbows down by your knees. I'm going into a regular six leg deadlift. All 20s. All right, hinging at the waist, reaching those hips back. These are soft. And reach and power up. into that reverse lunge. High knee, I'm gonna hold 15s. I'll call halfway, we'll still the same side until I call. Drop it low, here. Knee, low, knee, All right, switch legs. The last exercise is gonna be glute thrust down on the ground. You can either grab a heavy weight or use two lighter weights on your pelvis. I'm gonna opt for the two 15s, making it 30 pounds. On your back. Whew. All right, feet close to the bottom. Rest those on your pelvis. Pulse at the top. So you're up, pulse down. Or one 1,000, down. Two 1,000, down. circuit. So take a look at the screen, see what's next. All right, you got about 30 seconds here. Grab your other weights, make your way back down to the ground. Let's start down on the ground. I got my 15s. We're going to start with a wide, narrow chest press. All right, wide turn narrow. Over the chest, not the neck. Here we go. Press, squeeze. Good. If you're on the ground, you can actually tap those elbows down to the floor. If you're on a bench, make sure you're only going to 90 degrees on the elbow.
variable surface push-up. So that means one hand is elevated, one is on the ground. I'm just gonna use my dumbbell. Mod from the knees, which is what I'm gonna do because my shoulder hurts. Otherwise, from the toes, here we go. Press. Good, flex at the top. Switch your hands and work. Flip it over for a little tricep press to overhead extension. I'll grab my 12s here. On your back, palms facing. Press up to the ceiling, then back. Press it up, bend at the elbow, back up, return. Up, back, ceiling, and down. it over again. Renegade row. I'm going to grab these 15s again. We're in plank position, alternating that row. You could put both hands on the ground and stand one side for 30, uh, 20 seconds if you like. Here we go. And row. Switch. Good. Mom is down. Try not to rock your body. Biceps. Let's do a uh, wide row, turn, stand and hammer curl here. I'll hold this 12s again, wide row, hammer curl. Hinge, take it wide, turn, stand and curl right here. Wide, up, curl.
into a lateral raise, high front. I think I'll just use fives here. You can bit turn eights if you like. Out to the side, up to the front. Ready, you're here. High front and down. Lateral, high front, like in that salute position, and then down. Low, curl, press right there. front of the body. Back to those biceps. Palms face the ceiling. Shoulders back. Here we go. Alternate. Good. Try not to rock your body. Keep it still. Facing me. here. We are going into cardio. I'll show you the low impact modification in between if you need to do that. If not, let's kick it up in this next circuit. Let's kick this up. We're going to start with this cross in front jack, usually because I can't get the actions <laughs> for the first like 10 seconds. Here's your low impact though. Are you ready to kick it out? All right, here we go. that basketball. If you don't need the break, right here. Otherwise, we're shuffling. Here we go. Squat and jump. Thank you. 
We're gonna jack, skip. That's your low impact. Jack and skip. Let's work. You're here. You're gonna do a sprinter's hop, step hop, or step high knee for low impact. I'll call halfway on the leg. Okay, get low. You're here and hop. One more here, and let's reach the other leg back. Reach, hop. Okay, two jabs. Two frogs, that's your low impact. Jab, jab, frog, frog. Nordic skiers. That's your low impact. Whew. Get your breath. All right, swing those arms. We're gonna do a side to side lunge hop. You can use your mat as a guide. Otherwise, you can alternate front lunge if you want the low impact. I'll cut half on the leg and work through here. Switch sides. All right, 
You got two knees, one, two, two on this side, and then two T-Rex jacks. Okay, that's a low impact. Double, double, two T-Rex. Let's go. One, two, switch. One, two, low, here, here. Cardio kick. That's your low impact there. Catch the breath. Here. Stay with the cardio if you don't need a break. Otherwise, if you need a longer rest before we head dish to the ground, pause the video. Whew, this feels good. I'm adding my five pound dumbbells to a few of our ab exercises here. We're gonna start with that V-sit layout. You can do this without. Modify, you can lean back in single leg extension. I'm gonna double it. Here we go, palms up. Lay it out. Bring it in, out, and in. Nice little front shoulder and bias up here as well, okay? Try to lay it out low. Last one here. We're gonna do a hand and toe plank, alternating tap. If you can only tap one thing, tap the feet side to side. You could also mod from the knees and tap the shoulders only if you'd like. Otherwise, opposite hand and foot are tapping. Bum is down. that sprinter sit up so you're going to come up elbow to knee alternate elbow to knee you can modify down on the ground right here if you'd like otherwise up to the tailbone ready and work right here you're up and switch
going to that plank hip drop from the elbows. If you don't want to drop side to side, we can mod from the knees or hold it here. Otherwise, we're dipping low. Pop it up. Again, single, single, double leg extension on your back. All right, single out and back, single out and back. That can stay as your modification. Single, single, double here, lay it out. Good, single. the weights. Here we go. All right, press. Again, we're gonna get back into that forearm plank, drag the dumbbell across the mat. All right, onto the elbows, from the knees or toes, drag it across here. Try to keep your hips facing the ground. To a side line crunch. So knees are to the side, hands behind. We're crunching up to the ceiling, hitting those obliques. I'll call half. Here we go. And Switch your legs and up. Good. 
Very good. On your back, we're gonna hip hop the hips and then leg extension. You can single leg extension to mod. You can put your hands under your bottom to protect your lower back and your knee. And pop those hips right here. Bend, extend. Spider-Man crunch, plank position, bring the knee up to the elbow, alternating sides, oh, abs are sore, ready, let's work, bring it here, switch, Enjoyed today's workout. Okay, let's stretch it out here. I'm gonna come right down onto my stomach, hands by my chest, and press up into that cobra. Stretching my abs first here. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> down again, and up. Very good job, everyone. Arms are shaky. Let's go back into that child's pose. Knees are wide. Press your chest to the ground and drop your head. Just camp out here for a second. Draw the arms in into cat and cow. Knees come closer together. Round through the upper shoulder blades. That's it. Exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. One more deep breath in, round. And exhale, drop and lift. Open the legs a little bit. Let's tuck that arm under right here. There we go. Mm. I was listening to Gabor Mate this morning on a podcast uh, as I was just getting ready. And one of the things that he said that was very profound for me, and I just kind of wanted to share it today with you, switch sides, is that sometimes well, as children, so many of us, this has been the case, but we, we let go of authenticity for the sake of attachment. And I just thought how profound that was and how true that's been of me my whole life. Sad to admit that, but when I look back at my, you know, I don't want to say lack of authenticity. Sometimes there is that withholding of the truth of who I am because of fear that it will upset the apple cart of other people if I am authentically who I was designed to be. Right? If I say the things that I mean and think, um, you know, you test that and other people respond well and then you're not comfortable with their response so then you just go, well, I'd rather have the attachment than have, you know, the authenticness inside myself, authenticity. And so I, I thought about that a lot. You know, I'm, I'm in this women's group right now. It's called The Gathering. And we're talking about these sort of psychological issues. We're talking about community connection and how to be more authentically ourselves. And it's very, 
you feel very naked. <laughs> you're kind of just stripping away all the pretense and you're trying to be authentically you and see how that lands with other people and it's scary sometimes to do that but it's been very life-giving as well because I don't want to be like I'm 52 I don't want to do my 60s 70s 80s still looking to you know have my attachment issues fulfilled and and disregard my authenticity I don't I don't want that I want to have that all worked out <laughs> So I'm working on that and it's challenging and it's scary and I, it's vulnerable and I feel like my place in a public forum just fuels the fire for that and I find it challenging to be authentically me because you have people who don't like your authentic you, right? Or people who are just haters and they're just unhappy in their own lives and I, I understand all that and it's still challenging and it's still challenging. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that maybe you're in that same boat where you haven't given yourself your true voice, your true self isn't, isn't the biggest part of you. Your parts are, your managers, the, the people around us that, you know, not the people, parts of ourselves who rise up to protect our true self, our little Tracy. Um, and I want my true self to be the biggest part and so that is what I am working on currently and part of that is being as authentic as I can without having to curate the audience's response whether that be people in close proximity to me close relationship with me or people on the other side of the world who I've never met it doesn't matter it's kind of like for me all in the same boat my attachment is dominant in my brain even though I'm not that child anymore um, so anyway that's what I'm working on I just thought I'd share because I know a lot of you like these moments where we break it down and and talk about real things and I think it's important too anyway thanks for listening thanks for joining this workout it was great to move our bodies Lily is losing her brain upstairs someone must be walking by so I better go I'll see you in the next workout <laughs>